Hello everyone, it is Kayla, the maker and creator behind Crochet by Kayla, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a full and complete recap of my spring market I did now about a month ago. My last video was kind of a market vlog and I gave a small recap at the end, basically just saying exactly what I just completely sold out of but this is a full and complete recap. I will also be telling you guys some of my prices that I had. And yeah, so maybe it will give you an idea on if you do markets of some new things to make that do well for this time of year. Some of these are a little more Easter oriented, some of the products, because this was a market right before Easter, so it could give you some inspiration for next year and yeah there's also some just great products that you can put out year long like the bee seasonal even though they are a little bit springy but yeah so first i'm gonna show you guys a few clips of what my setup looked like and maybe a few pictures too so there's that So I'm going to start off with some of my more spring-like items. So for my fruit that I had, I had four of these strawberries. I just made a few more of them. I plan to have a pattern on how to make this soon. Also, I plan on linking as many patterns as I can down below, but there is a lot of patterns. So if you have a question on where a pattern is from, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to find the link for it for you guys. This is my own pattern. I plan on doing a YouTube video on it next and maybe I'll do a written version as well. So I had four of those and I sold three of them. They were priced at eight dollars and then I also had lemons priced at eight dollars. I do not have any of them as I also had four and I sold two of them, but then I got an order for the other two of them after the market. Markets are so great because you can get a lot of interest after your market when you have stock left from any of your social media pages or friends of people that bought something at your market and want that same product. Then I had chicks. I had them priced at $12. I Maybe we'll enter a picture, but you probably saw it in the display. I had chicks. I had, it was eight of those. No, sorry. I think I might have six. I can't remember right now, <laughs> but um, I did sell all of those. And I also had bunnies and I had eight of those. And I sold all those also. They were both price set $12. And kind of springy is the bees. I had a total of 12 of them and I did end up selling every single one of them. And that was really good. Bees at every single market I've had them at have completely sold out. I priced those at $15. I do not have one of those to show right now, but they are about this big and I displayed them in the honeycomb which you probably saw in the videos of my setup. That honeycomb definitely helps catch people's eye because you see the bright yellow and you see the honeycomb like it's in the center of my display. So definitely how you display your products also can help you out a lot because if they were just sitting around, it would have been probably a little bit harder for a customer walking by all the different things at an event like that. That catches your eye more because it stands up a little bit, gives a little height and dimension to your setup, and it's just really cute. I'll link that down below. So then we have a little bit of like summary and some stuffed animals and all. 
We have ice cream cones. I had, I believe, eight of them, but only four of them are actual cones. The rest of them were these, and I sold four. This is my own pattern, and then the ice cream cones. So I had four of these, and I had them in these colors, and I sold two. And no, sorry, I had six of them. Most of my numbers wouldn't have made sense, so I sold four of them, and I sold one of these. They were all priced at $12, so I had 10 of them actually. And then I had whales, I had them in a bunch of different colors. But a lot of colors sold better than the others. So yellow was a new color I had that I didn't have last time I sold these. And I made two of them. I made ten in ten colors and I had two of each color. And neither of the yellows sold. Which I thought they could possibly, but I guess I was wrong. And I had two greens. They also didn't sell. And I also had two of this dark purple, which I really love this dark purple. So... I had these priced at $10. And then here's a few of the others that I have left and I sold their match. So this is a display of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my colors that I had out of 10. I used Parfait Chunky for them. So the colors I sold completely out of are this mint, the darker blue, lavender, and I believe that is it. So moving right along, I had one jellyfish, just uh, something that I had for a while and I decided, let's just see if I can put it out and it sells and it did. I had that price at $20. And then I had two of these dinosaurs and I sold one of them. I sold the blue one and I also got a custom order for one because I had a customer that liked it a lot but she wanted to get a different color. So technically I did sell two but I did not um, leave the market without the second one that I sold. And then I had some purses. I had this one as one that I just had and I wanted to put it out. Oh, my dinosaurs I had priced at 35, I believe. So these bigger purses I had priced at 18 and I had three of them. And so I sold one and then I had three of these and I sold two. These are priced at $12. They are the Biddy Boho bags by A Crafty Concept. Moving right to another A Crafty Concept pattern, I had these little cuties. So I had a total of six of them and I only sold one at the market, but I later got an order for another one. I had these priced at 30. And then I also had some bunny lovies and I had four of those and I sold three of them. I The other one I then sold after the market. Those are always a big hit because it's the really soft part of a chunky yarn that I make the bunnies out of. And then I had mermaids. I had a total of eight mermaids and I sold five of them. And I had some succulents. I had two of them, I believe, and I only sold one, which is completely fine. Cause I, it was once again, like another product that I had had. It's markets are really nice because you don't always necessarily need a ton of a certain type of item. You can kind of be like, oh, I have this leftover from this, put a price tag on it. You have two of them it's okay you don't need about just like a normal number of them like i have a bunch of my whales like i have 20 whales well i don't need 20 succulents um and i had three scrunchies out and i sold all three scrunchies i had them priced at five dollars 
and I believe that is everything that I had sold. If you have any more questions, if I didn't say something of how I priced it, let me know and I can answer your question. Everyone does price their crochet differently. I've seen a lot of creators price some items that I have made at a different price than me and that is okay because that is what I feel like my the amount of time I took to make it cost because lots of people do crochet at like completely different speeds and get stuff done faster than other people or someone could have one of my the items that I also saw priced lower than me but yeah so I hope you all enjoyed this video and make sure to check out some of the patterns down below and also check out all my social medias i have instagram facebook pinterest and tiktok as well so i will see you all next time bye